There is a lot of things in life that are toxic. Relationships, bad habits, regrets, and even finances. If you haven't heard of toxic debt traps, stay tuned for this video since I'm talking about how to avoid them right now. My name is Munif Ali, and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s. I have built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making these videos to share my life experiences and teach others how to become more successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content that I'm about to give you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with people who might find this to be useful. Usually when we think of debt, we think of things like mortgages and car loans and all type of personal loans and credit cards. And these debts are helpful if you know how to use them. However, there are debts out there that are just ridiculously high. Some can be as high as 35% and in some rare cases, even more than 100%. I know it sounds unreal, but these do exist. These are what I call toxic debts or debts that are predatory and have minimal or no benefit to people at all. One of these debts is the payday loan cycle. This debt lets you borrow the same amount of money as your paycheck. So it's like an advanced paycheck, but you need to pay it no longer than two weeks or every $100 worth that you borrow, you'll have to pay an extra 10 to $15. At first, if you have an emergency, because these types of loans get you approved immediately and you'll have to pay a small amount, but they make it look like you're only paying 10 to 15%. If you check the calculations per annum, you're actually paying 390% because you divide 15% by two weeks then multiply that by 52 weeks, that's 390%. Not even the highest credit cards can reach a triple digit APR or annual percentage rate. Also, when you're borrowing the same amount out of your paycheck, how are you going to pay the extra 10 to $15 for every $100 you borrow? It's going to be a never ending cycle of debt. And that's why you need to avoid these type of toxic debt traps or you might just go broke. Have you ever received those emails or ads that are selling you a no credit check personal loan? If you do, try to avoid them as much as possible. Like payday loans, no credit check loans let you apply and get approved easily without checking your credit score. It's another debt trap that lures you into its convenience. But just like the payday loan, it charges you a ridiculous amount of APR and interest, which can be as high as 400%. Unlike payday loans, no credit check loans allow you to pay in a longer period of time. But regardless of the longer payment duration, it's still not worth it because of how expensive it can be. Here's an example. If you borrowed 1500% for two years with a 400% APR, then you have a monthly payment of $500 or so. That's a total of $12,024. You just borrowed more than $10,000. That's two years of your precious time when you could have used it for savings instead. Even if you're in need of emergency funds, there are a lot better ways to deal with it out there than the no credit check loan. That's why it is important for you to do the research to find reliable personal loans out there and always strive for having a good credit score. You're more likely to get loans with lower interest rates and get reasonable interest rates if you always pay on time. There's a good reason why most banks and creditors have a credit score check before lending you money. It's to assess if you can pay it back and give you a proper amount that you'll be able to handle. But no credit check personal loans just let you borrow the money and hope for the best that you can pay them back. They want you to be stuck with these debts so they can keep on earning and continue the debt cycle. Aside from these loans, your investments can actually be considered toxic debts too. This is what I call toxic assets. Toxic assets were coined during the 2008 financial crisis when there were a lot of assets that people couldn't sell because of the collapse in the economy. No one likes to invest in a toxic asset because it's a guaranteed loss. This usually happens if you lack the research and if you underestimate the potential of the market to crash. I know firsthand because I had some toxic assets when the last crash happened, they happened to be over leveraged real estate. I'll give you one more example. This could be cryptos. Maybe you have cryptos that you didn't research and got caught in the hype of fear of missing out and you didn't really research it thoroughly. You joined the fund that everybody was earning from it. But then suddenly it crashes. Just look at the recent Luna coin. It's worth $100 a few weeks ago and it dropped 99% of its price. Yikes. 
That's why it's always important for you to do the research because what's happening is that you are creating debt for yourself if you make careless investments. Assets are supposed to help you get out of debt, not add anything to it. And there's plenty of people went out there and got loans just so that they can buy NFTs or cryptos and all kinds of other stuff. I'm not saying don't do it, but do your research first. Just a quick break, here's some exciting news. I'm giving away a free ebook on money management. And if you sign up using the link down below, you'll receive a free PDF copy of my book. And I've compiled all the best resources on money management and we've put a lot of time and dedication in giving you great value at absolutely zero price point. It's especially made for a younger generation, millennials and, and even younger who want Want to become future millionaires. So make sure you grab your copy right now. If you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that these videos are valuable to you. I'll continue to bring you more content like this each and every week. So make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. So as soon as I release a video, you'll be notified. One obvious answer, but easy to miss out, is extremely high penalty rates for credit cards. This happens if you keep getting late charges for more than 60 days, or you simply missed two payments in a row. These little sneaky rates can be as high as 30%. If this happens to you, you need to make six on-time payments to reset your rate to the pre-penalty charges. Unfortunately, they're only required to lower your rate on the balance from before the penalty kicked in, not the actual rate itself. A lot of credit card companies hide this information so they can continue to apply that high penalty rate on your next purchases. So if you've made several late payments, don't be shocked if you get charged a high rate on your next transaction. Look, if this happens to you, then pick up that phone and call your credit provider and ask that they revert your fees to actual pre-penalty charges. Because if you don't, you might be stuck with higher minimum payments and transaction fees forever, making it harder for you to get out of debt anyway. Those are several toxic debt traps that you should always avoid. My advice is that if you need money for emergency reasons, it's a lot better to borrow from friends and family that are most likely not going to charge these crazy rates than some sketchy personal loan company trying to cripple you with debt. And if you can't ask your close friends or relatives or family members, then get a personal loan from a bank or a credit union. They can provide you with reasonable interest rates that you can use as a leverage in whatever situation you might find yourself in. But if you're unsure of the loan, just walk away. Better to think about these things first than to commit to paying a debt for years that you don't have any idea if it's actually gonna be beneficial to you in the long run. Remember, do your research first and make sound financial decisions. If you need more information about credit scores and about borrowing money, go ahead and click this video here. Smart, effective tips on how to increase your credit score fast. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media as well. See you soon.